the experiences that have really shaped um, you know, what I try to do every day, um, it really wasn't anything about great case. It was very much around what I see my colleagues doing every day. The experiences are showing up in Spain and watching my colleagues sit with a, with a client going through some, uh, some challenges and watching them and supporting them as they try to support and help that client. Um, seeing that happen and seeing that happen in different geographies around the world, those kinds of experiences give me some pattern recognition. I get to see them in action around the world. I try to take some of those lessons and shape those and try to give them hopefully back to my colleagues around the firm so they can be more effective. And that's really shaped how I fundamentally thought about global AM. Technology will fundamentally redefine uh, the workplace, redefine business models, uh, and very much do so uh, in some, some industries, fundamentally change business models. But in every industry, our, our analysis and our work with clients would suggest that technology at a minimum is going to be a tremendous accelerant. So if you've got a business model, the opportunity to actually scale it more effectively, grow more effectively, gets accelerated, gets amplified with technology. By the way, if you have inconsistencies in your model, or you have inconsistencies in how your colleagues think about your firm around the world, or your mission's not fully aligned, technology also has the ability to unwind that and to actually uh, create impediments because your colleagues are now talking to each other in ways they've never talked to each other before. So for us, technology is fundamental. Uh, it is fundamental to a model change. It's also fundamental to how you scale success. Uh, and that's true for Aon, and we see that with our clients around the globe. We would fully agree that there's tremendous amounts of data out there that's talked about all the time, big data, with much less information and precious little insight. Uh, and then even more rare is taking the insight and asking clients and getting clients to change their fundamental behavior that improves their performance as a result of this. Going from data to information to insight the changes in client behavior we believe is fundamental. And if you don't have a very specific set of outcomes you're trying to accomplish on behalf of clients, you almost can't make the link almost impossible. And so our view is uh, uh, just watching how our clients have approached this, if you've got a very fundamental and specific set of outcomes you're, you're trying to go after. So for example, with clients, you know, what specific actions they're going to take to improve their operating performance, change their income statements, improve their income operating performance, strengthen their financial position, that's their balance sheet, or reduce the volatility in their business. If you can say specific to a client, we're going to use data to generate greater insight, and we're going to actually enable you to take actions you wouldn't have otherwise taken because of this that will fundamentally improve your business, that is impact. That is incredibly compelling and a real opportunity for our clients. The counter to that is you can spend lots of time churning around data and analysis and never change behavior in a client. If that's the case, and by the way, more often than not, it is, uh, then you have a huge, you have a significant risk. You're going to spend a lot of money and a lot of time and not get a lot of impact. On the other hand, the upside is tremendous and never been greater. And we certainly see that in our business of risk and our business of people.